Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in my PJs. Yes, I am. Um, it's mad early in the morning, guys. But I'm going to do an update on my health because I always give you guys a heads up. It's been a shit show. But I hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, I hope so. Listen, this time is some rough shit going on out there lately. Um, and I'm not talking about news shit because I don't watch the news. But, like, what we all go through. Because of COVID, because of everything that happened, it has turned our lives upside down. So this isn't just about dentures, guys. Like, you can talk to me about anything. Even if you just need a friend, if you're lonely. You know, and I don't mean the creepy people out there. Please keep your creepiness down to a minimum. Thanks. Um, but all the people who are genuinely needing a friend or lonely. I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. I don't care if you're a damn alien. We all know this. Um, contact me. I always, in the description below, I give you all my spots where you can message me. Comment down below. Just say, hey, Heather, we're good. You know, just wanted to do a check-in with you. I look at us as family, you know. This isn't just YouTube shit. We all need somebody to reach out for, you know. FYI, if you hear noises, I live on a main road and it sucks. So, just letting you know that. Also, my lighting is weird. So, if you can't see me well, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, there's nothing I can do about that. The outside lighting is messing with my camera, so I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, before I get started, if you like my crazy content, don't forget to subscribe. Obviously, no pressure. Just giving you guys a heads up, especially people who are new to YouTube. Um, don't, for don't forget to click the bell button. Listen, I didn't learn about the bell button until I started my channel. <laughs> don't judge me. Listen, I'm not a techie person. I was born in the 80s. Didn't grow up on electronics. We danced. We had fun. We lived our best life. Um, so, I mean, I get by with electronics, but whatever. I don't make it a, a point to learn the shit. But, um, yeah, I totally learned how, about the bell button when I did my channel. Again, don't judge me. People are like, Heather, why do you tell people about the bell button? Well, I do it because, well, if I didn't know, somebody else must not know either. Um, because YouTube will literally send you out no notifications at all. Because when you click the bell, they automatically click, uh, do highlights. And you'll get whatever they feel like giving you. Um, so if you click the bell and you click all, you'll get every video that I drop. Um, because I don't want you guys missing giveaways. <clears throat> For anybody that doesn't know, in one of my videos, I do have a giveaway going on right now. It's a secret pop-up giveaway. So if you're unaware, you guys have got to watch my videos fully through. So many people are like, oh, Heather, we didn't know. Well, that's the point of a surprise pop-up giveaway. I do it for all the people that actually watch my videos fully through. So it's more like a high five, good job, here's some good product. Um, it's actually a cushion grip one, so if you want to get in on it, guys. And I also got some um, new products coming in on, too. So you don't want to miss those either, which I haven't announced that yet. So whatever. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update. And I forgot to do an update. Um, this has nothing to do with what happened most, most, most recently in the last day or two. This has to do with, um, a couple days prior. What day is this? This, in reality, right now, I'm filming on Tuesday. Um, you'll probably see this on Wednesday or Thursday. So I think it was last Friday, I, s or Thursday. I don't know. You guys know my memory sucks, but either way. Um, I saw my primary, oh, no, no, no. Thursday, last Thursday, I saw my primary doctor, and then Friday, I saw my ortho doctor. See, I remember. It clicks. It clicks. It does. Okay, so my primary doctor, um, I don't know how real you guys want me to get. Like, you guys know me. I'm a very personable person. I don't really put my life out there. Because, one, I don't, want, I don't want anybody's pity. I don't do pity. I don't, I don't, nope. Um, also, for privacy reasons of other people. Like, if I was them, I wouldn't want people to put my shit out there. Okay, so... Um, man, I don't even know where to start. We're going to skip some of it. I'm just going to give you the main stuff. So you guys all know I have small fiber neuropathy. For everybody that doesn't know what small fiber neuropathy is, because shit, I didn't know until I had it. Um, small fiber neuropathy I got from scleroderma. It is your peripheral nerves that control your movement. Your, you know, your, it's hardcore. Those nerves, it's not like skin nerves. It's actually those deep nerves that control. And it can kill you. It can kill you. Um... But those nerves, most of them are dead. You can't grow back nerves. There's nothing they can do for me. But the nerves I do have are overactive. Um, it's almost 
listen, fibromyalgia is just overactive nerves. Nerves throughout your entire body and all of that. Um, it can't kill you. It's very, very common. There is actually no testing for fibromyalgia. They just press on your pressure points and they say, hey, does this hurt? Well, of course it's going to hurt. You're pressing on my pressure points. It would hurt anybody. But yeah, there's no testing for fibromyalgia and I was wrongly um, diagnosed with fibromyalgia and I actually almost died because of those assholes. Thanks. I doubt you'll ever see this, but you is all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, it controls all that stuff. So now that I found out, it's not just my GI system. It's not just, you know, esophagus, testes, all that, which is part of why I'm so severely constipated. Um, it's not just my muscles. It's actually attacking my major organs now. Um, I don't know what my lifespan's going to be, guys. I know it's not going to be long. That I do know. Um, but you know what? I'm up. It sucks because I just want to make it simple. My kids are 18, 21, whatever. Um, but I just live my best life. Like I did get depressed at first by it, but you know what? Being depressed and stressed and anxious over it isn't going to solve a damn fucking thing. It'll actually shorten my life more. And why the hell would I want to do that? Because whether it's an autoimmune disease, whether it's a nerve disease, diabetes, cancer, whatever, stress actually will make you sicker and amplify whatever diseases or syndromes or whatever you got going on. It'll make it worse. So I know it's easier said than done because I battle it. Um, but you need to try to distract yourself. That's why I always stay busy. That's why I do videos every day. It, you guys help me more than you understand. Um, like you guys always tell me how much I help you, but you help me just as much. You really do. That's why I do so many giveaways because I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Well, the nice ones. I don't appreciate the mean people out there, but whatever. Um, but my heart's not doing well. What it is, is I have, hold on, let me remember what it's called. Um, autonomic dysfunction. Now what that is, is my nerves are causing a lot of dysfunction and I'm losing control of some things of my body. Um, like my hands will do its own thing. Um, I can't hold on and grip things much. That's why I keep my phones in stands. If you guys notice when I vlog, my hands shake a lot. It's hard for me. Um, I'm working on getting a camera for vlogging so I can actually put on a stand and do all that because I can't hold my phone. Um, well, yeah, and a new lap. Man, do I need a new laptop more than anything. But um, finding out that, like, my heart, okay, what it is is my heart. <sighs> my doctor always like, Heather, you know, I don't want you to get worried or scared. At this point, guys, when you have so much wrong with you, you're just like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> It's, I'm being dead ass, like, at this point of how much things I have wrong with me, I just, it's like, whatever, what the fuck ever, like, I don't care, I don't, so what it is, is when I sit down, my heart rate is at 60, if I were to stand up right now, it goes to 100, I'm gonna show you guys, you guys wanna see, I'm gonna show you, hold on, I got something, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys something, I'm gonna talk while I show you, so I'm gonna do, she may even get a heart monitor, Hey, hey, stop. The thing just goes on its own. Actually, no, I don't accidentally press the button. It's not its fault. It's mine because I'm a spaz. So this is so imp simple. You just turn on the damn button and it does its thing. I got to keep my arms still, though. So what it is is I have a problem with when I sit down, you know, my heartbeat is whatever, low, whatever. It's normal. When I stand up, um, it sucks. It, like, flat out sucks. It's, like, 120. It'll be, like, between... I've seen it at between, like, 111 to 135, which is pretty bad just by standing up. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna write this down. So, it says my heart rate is 69. Cool. Um, uh, I'm gonna somehow move you guys. Give me a minute. I have to stand up and wait a couple of minutes anyway. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move you. Hi, homies. Okay, I'm going to just have it up there. Okay, so I'm going to stand. I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Um, Because i got to redo it. i got to stop pressing buttons. Okay, so what it is is I have to go for a tilt test. Um, It's not like the... You know how um when you guys do... um What's that called? When you have, like, inner ear problems and all that. It's not like when they spin you around you want to vomit. 
Um, this one takes me from the laying position and puts me up flat on a table and they check it out. They got to check my heart. Um, my heart and brain are going is what's happening. And I know I always make fun of the fact that I lose my memory, but it's my disease. And I, it, it sucks that scleroderma destroyed a lot of me. So I'm going to turn this on since I'm standing up. And I'll, so remember, heart rate was 69. 69, yeah, I think it was 69. And we're going to wait for this. Oh, you guys like my Eeyore PGGs? I'm wearing like three shirts under here, so I look way huger than I normally do. I get cold at night. Like, I get really, really cold. Oh, for the love of Jesus, hurry up. This is taking longer than the last one. Okay. So just standing up. And I only stood up for what? A little bit? Hold on, guys. I'm going to move you back. Holy crap. Okay. So just standing up, um, I'm literally at 112. Isn't that crazy? Um, thanks, small fiber neuropathy. But there's a lot of things I battle. I think small fiber neuropathy, to me, I'm more scared of my GI system because I almost died many times. But the problem is, is my health is getting worse. So, I mean, I just letting you guys know, in case you guys go out there and you know you're going through the same thing. Holy crap, light work for me. You guys are probably like, yo, this chick is crazy. Yeah, I am. Oh, I know why it's not working well. Because I moved it away from my ring light. You guys are like, Heather, you're making me vomit here. Sorry, guys. Whatever. You get what you get. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, my life's getting completely worse, guys. It is. And I always make the best out of things. You know that. Listen, you only get one life, bro. Um, harping on the shitty part, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? And I think after learning how bad stress has impacted my GI system, I'm very cautious. So cautious. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty shitty. Um, I mean, all you could do is take one day at a time, right guys? There's not much you can do on that, you know? Um, but there's more testing she has to do. I also found out I have chronic fatigue syndrome, which is severe um, exhaustion all the time. It'll never go away. Um, it also comes with severe pain, and it comes with organ issues. People think, oh, it's just you're tired. Actually, no. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome is actually quite serious. And so many people are like, oh, you're just tired. Uh, mm, no, boo. No. I constantly feel the same way as I do every time I wake up in the morning and when I go to bed all day long, I'm just dead ass exhausted. I mean, I look how I feel right now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I haven't even gotten dressed yet. I have to go do my crock pot thing because I'm making homemade beef stroganoff, which is actually exciting because it's a new recipe I'm doing. Yep. I love my crock pot. Yo, it makes food so tender. Even before dentures happened, I always loved my crock pot. Like I made some amazing, like, pork loins and like I'm probably making you guys hungry sorry but get a crock pot if you don't have one because especially for people with dentures it'll make any freaking food massively tender and I'm not playing you can bake in it too that's what's cool I also have an air fryer which you can bake roast fry like there's so much you can do it's so awesome but, um, so yeah, my diseases suck and I have to do more testing. I don't know why. Honestly, I don't want to be tested anymore. Like, I already know I have a shit luck and I'm having a rough time and I don't need them to keep finding more shit. Like, you know what I mean? They're beating a dead horse here. But, um, as far as the ortho doctor goes, and everybody's like, Heather, are you going to get your boot off? No. <laughs> no. I wish, boo. I wish. He wants me in it for six more weeks. He was like, listen, you need surgery. I'm explaining to you what surgeries I need. I need more than one. But he's like, I'm going to let you have a choice. Do you want to see the surgeon right before the new year or after? And I said, listen, 2020 has been a shit show, boo. Like, after. Let's just start a new year off because I feel like 2020 is a bit of a jinx. And I'm not risking myself underneath the knife. <laughs> he was laughing. He goes, that's fine. He's like, but, um, he's like six weeks on the boot. Now, here's the deal. If you keep your foot in a boot 24 damn seven, you're going to weaken your leg and you can actually make your whatever the hell's wrong with your leg far worse. 
So he was like, you know, if you go for long walks, he goes, if you're home, you don't need to wear your boot. He goes, but if you're walking outside of the house, put your damn boot on. He goes, because, he goes, Heather, you're an active person, you know? And he's like, my biggest fear is you're going to end up dislocating your Achilles heel. Because I have, for anybody that doesn't know, I have three tears in my Achilles heel. I also have a messed up ligament and tendon. Um, so the surgeries he said that I need is I need ligament and tendon replacement surgery on the left side of my left ankle, like the outer part. Um, and I need, on the inner part of my right ankle, on the, you know, on the left ankle, on the right side of that left ankle, um, it's like sort of detached, but there's so much fluid. Everything is draining into my foot um, from my ligaments and tendons and tears that it's messing things up. So they're going to try to get it done in two surgeries instead of three. Um, but it depends on how my body is, you know that. You guys can't, you won't know until they get in there. I mean, they might be able to get all of it done in one surgery because if it goes well, you know what I mean? But, I don't know. But as for right now, I'm totally gonna bling out my boot. <laughs> Listen, I'm stuck in it for six weeks. He was laughing at me because I was talking to one of the girls there. And I was like, yo, if he keeps me in this boot, I'm gonna make my boot happen. I wish I had a bedazzler. Like, all the people out there that know what I mean, back in the day, they had a bedazzler. Um, I want to bedazzle my boot. I mean, I do. I want to do red and green and silver and gold and some blue, and I want to make my boot pretty. Um, can't find a bedazzler. It sucks. But I, I do have a bunch of Christmas ribbon and glitter and a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to red and green, and when I'm done with that, I'll definitely show you guys my boot. But I always try to make the best out of things. I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, let's face it, it would have never happened. If my landlord actually fixed the stairs when he was supposed to. For years it's been like that. Even the postman even said, hey, they finally fixed the stairs. I'm like, yeah, after I fell. Like, thanks. Could have did beforehand. But, um, yeah. So that's been my shit show, guys. I wanted to keep you informed to let you guys know what was going on. I do still have to get infusions. I still have to get my, um, vitamin shots because I'm five vitamin deficiency um, yeah, I mean, guys, everybody goes through shit, you know, everybody does, and it's easy to get lost in the negative, because people are like, how do you find a positive? Listen, there's a positive in every negative. There is. If I didn't have my dentures, I wouldn't be able to help people. It's my whole thing is I've always loved to help people, and with these dentures, I've helped so many people. I've been able to be there for people and make new friends. And you guys have helped my anxiety just by talking to you guys. Um, yeah, there's some people that are mean, but you know what? I don't care. I don't. I got thick skin. I'm good. They just get blocked from my channel anyway. Um, but there's always a positive to everything. What I went through is helping other people. Whether it's autoimmune, whether it's, you know, dentures, whether it's just life, being a single mom, it doesn't matter. Everybody can find a positive in everything. It makes us stronger. The bad stuff and the negative stuff actually makes us stronger as people. It either makes you or breaks you. And I'm a firm believer to not let anything break me. Maybe I'm just competitive. But God gave us one life, right? Or whatever you believe in. And I'm not a quitter. And I'm going to do the best I can. That's all we can do, guys, is stay strong and do the best we freaking can, right? And, you know, I'm glad I can help some people. And you guys need to know that I appreciate the crap out of you guys. Even if somebody doesn't comment or whatever and doesn't matter about watching my videos, is even just put me making videos helps me vent out what I feel and anxiety, and it helps release. That's why I tell you guys, if you ever just need to vent to me or talk to me, just get a hold of me. It's in the description below, all my information. Because it, it does make you feel better just to just get it off your chest, you know? But everybody out there who goes through anything, even if it's health stuff or whatever, you can do it. You're stronger than you guys think. Trust me. I didn't think I was as strong as I am. And... You get pushed to your limits of what you can handle and what you can't handle. And without rain, there would be no rainbow. Without bad, you would never 
have compassion or become stronger or become more independent or see what you're even capable of. Like I always tell people, without the bad stuff, people wouldn't have so much compassion for others. Or, you know, you end up trusting people. If everything was just so fucking perfect, people would be selfish, spoiled, and ignorant as hell. And yeah, there's already people like that, I'm aware. But it would be far worse. So, just know everything happens for a reason, guys. And don't ever give up. But, I will definitely talk to you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you want to see certain videos. I, um... What was that? You guys, my memory sucks. I was like, there's a video I wanted to do. Oh, the sinus preparation for uh, extractions. I got to do that. But I love you guys. Have a great day. Never forget to smile, guys. Have a healthy, happy denture day and a pain-free autoimmune day. Later, guys.